Hello, I'm Solar Loon, and today we'll be looking at animation. Yes, uh, last time uh, we talked about well, two times ago, <laughs> in, in part three we talked about shading and, and lighting, and in, in part uh, four we talked about colors to use con uh, using colors to get contrast. Um, and this time we'll be talking about animation. And this guy looks weirdly. Yeah, I kind of. I think I need to put clothes on him now. It's weird how you don't think that someone looks weird without clothes until you put clothes on them. Then it's like he looks a lot more unclothed <laughs> than he really should look. So let's let's put that there. Okay. So the idea here with animation is that you have uh, several frames of animation. You play them one after the other to achieve the effect of you know him a, a character doing something or moving something or whatever the case is. You know that's nothing new. Um, in game development, usually you call them sprites, and you animate sprites. Um, GIMP is good for, for drawing. It doesn't have a, a really good built-in animation preview feature, but if you're you know familiar with spriting, you don't really have to use it. Um, you can just you know put it right in the game engine and see it. Or uh, there is a filter here. It's not really a filter. It's a tool that you can use to play it back, but it re uh, relies on layers. So we'll, I'll, I'll show that. That's a way of, of showing it. Showing animation. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways to animate a, a walk cycle or, or animate different things. Some games do a very cartoony or simple animation where it's just kind of like four frames, uh, well, I guess three frames, standing, left leg forward, and, and right leg back, standing, left leg back, and right leg forward, standing, and it's just going back and forth. That's a definitely a, a, a way to go. That's not bad. Other games have really realistic running, like uh, if I recall Super Metroid or even the Metroid on NES had really... Uh, a lot of frames in the in the run ani running animation, particularly Super Metroid did. It was very fluid. So there's different ways to do it. This one we'll be talking about the simpler cartoony method of uh, walking. All right, so we have our character here. He's standing there. Hello. And so <laughs> what we're going to do is move him up. We're going to copy and paste him, move him up, move him up. And this is going to represent the point where basically he's in the air and his leg is forward. Legs are forward and back, and his arms are forward and back opposite of his legs and I'll probably go a little bit into that so what we're going to do is uh, given that we know pretty much 3d where all of his parts are let's move this uh, hood out of the way so I don't confuse that we're just going to move his arm up move his sweater back and let's see yeah we're gonna move his arm back I'm sorry move his uh, sweater back his arm back and yeah right about there. You want to have a nice arch on the arm going back. And the arm going forward, you can put about a 90 degree angle. Um, why is that? Okay, that's supposed to be great. Yeah. Like that. This is supposed to be there. I messed that up. Okay. And so that's his arm going forward. That's his arm going back. This is his leg. Um, his right leg. And so when you walk, oops, when you walk, usually, when you walk, you put your left leg forward or whatever leg forward. You put the opposite arm forward. Some games don't. Uh, people who, who draw don't do that, and it looks a little weird. Usually, when you walk, if your left leg is forward, your left arm will be back, and your right leg will be forward, and they'll alternate. That's just the way it is. That's the way we we walk. So to do this, we just put his left leg out like that. Um, let's see. He has a slight front to his foot. So if this is his leg going forward. It's going at this angle dot dot his left leg should basically go like that okay you can fill in these uh, I think I want to leave it like that and then you might want to fill that in a little bit give him his leg a little more depth now his back leg would basically come back like this round right there okay so well it looks a little weird the problem I'm having is that he's is He's uh, got really thin <laughs> limbs, so it's kind of hard to like really animate them correctly. But I guess it's not that big of a deal. If it looks weird, you can always just go back and change it. So the idea is just that you want to get a nice cycle. Okay, that's it. There we go. That's far better. Or is it? <laughs> I think it's better, but he's now on the ground again, which he should be in the air. But anyway, like I said, if you if it looks weird, you can always just go back and that's, oh, that's so much better. You, if it looks weird, you can always just go back and change it. So it's this one, that one, back to this one, basically standing, if you want, you know, 
for cartoony stuff. And then this is just an alter alteration of it. We're going to move this arm forward, right around there. Or I guess there. Move, uh, you know, pixels logically where they would be. Delete those pixels because his arm's going back. You can't see it because his body's in the way. Now, um, this leg will just take this. I think we're going to take the cheap way out and just basically push. This is his left leg that's in front. Okay. We're just going to make the darker, uh, the back leg the color that the front leg is. And make the back leg the color of the, the front leg, the color the back leg is. We're just going to alternate the colors. Um, I forgot to actually paint this area correctly. This is supposed to be black. This is supposed to be black. That's supposed to be black. This is supposed to be black. This isn't supposed to be there. No, wait, that's supposed to be there. Okay. And so, yeah, just going back and, and animating a little bit. And you see it's got a nice little kind of uh, feel about it. So that's the basic idea about animation. We can see how it looks really quick, really quickly. We're going to copy this guy, the first guy, and put him on the new layer. Uh, let's leave him in the center. Then we're going to make a new layer. Copy this guy. Put him on the new layer. Duplicate this layer, the standing layer. And then go back and copy the last guy. And move it up. And paste. Now, yeah, you probably... You probably can already see he's got a little, he's got some, he's got a movement right there. He's got a nice little running animation. So we can see this um, with the filter playback, which I think it will, yeah. Let's delete this um, layer, which is our working layer, so we can see the playback. And I believe I can zoom in. No. I thought I could zoom in. I totally thought I could zoom in. Unfortunately, it looks like I cannot zoom in. So what I'm going to do is just to make this easier for everyone to see, we're going to scale it up to about uh, 256 really quickly. And then show the playback. <clears throat> That's better. Alright, and this is the uh, speed that we have here. You can set different speeds and see how they look. So that's a pretty good walking animation just for a few minutes. I mean, you know, it could always be refined and made better, but it gets to the point across of he's running. You notice that his uh, hoodie's blinking in and out of his existence. So let's see if we can fix that really quick. Let's scale it back down. And so we have our hoodie there. Let's put our hoodie. Um, oh, let's put our hoodie here. I need to get this one. I'm always, yeah, you can, swapping layers can be a little uh, weird if you're not familiar with it, which I'm not super familiar with it. <coughs> but anyway, that's about it to the hoodie. All right, and we'll just do this again so we can see it. Like I said, this is um, a way to, to see the animation, but I'm more familiar and comfortable with just you know putting it in the, into a game engine like, oops, that was a mistake. <laughs> putting it into a game engine like Blender and just... Uh, you know, looking at it that way, that's uh, more familiar with me. Okay, so that's our animation. Not bad. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, I've been Solarloom. If you have any tutorial suggestions or ideas of uh, how to improve uh, any tutorials, please feel free to, to leave suggestions so I can make better tutorials. If you want to donate money to help fund more tutorials, that would even be better. <laughs> um, but otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Have fun and uh, keep making sprites with GIMP and other free uh, software. Yeah.